Hey guys, tonight we're taking a quick look at the TNVC Artemis versus a conventional uh, Anvis 6 housing. I'm a big fan of ball and detent mounts. They store super close to the helmet. They roll up easy, roll down easy. I, I really like the system, but I've always been uh, concerned about the durability of my Anvis 6. Uh, TNVC, I was pretty excited when they announced this at SHOT Show this year. I was glad to get my hands on one finally. The polymer they're machined from seems pretty dang stout. With the Anvis 6, you've got some exposed wires and such down in here. Uh, I'm assuming terminal connections and such are also somewhat exposed. You know, these are meant for being used inside a cockpit. This system seems much more uh, better protected from the elements, which is important. I run a lot of night vision running guns and Cola Wars and just other general running around at night shooting at things. And, uh, my concerns about shooting in inclement weather are, are going to be much, much less using the system. With the Anvis, uh, not much has detents in it. So, like, these pods move really smoothly, which is kind of nice, but nothing really stays real hard. On the Artemis, everything has detents. So, these things have little clicky turns. Uh, this guy locks into position here. So, that's kind of nice. Uh, same thing with the uh, cant adjustment, everything, uh, this one does not, but uh, all the rest of the adjustments have some, some clicky stops to them. Uh, Anvis 6 has no onboard illuminator. The onboard illuminator here is actually quite bright and somewhat usable. It's way better than you'd find on a PVS-14 or something like that. Um, uh, one, one thing to note is that I was told that Anvis glass will not work on these. I have not verified that. Uh, Cam at Night Solutions Inc. built this for me. I just had him throw some regular Carson glass on it. Uh, he did a good job. Build, purge, collimation, everything is spot on with this guy. Uh, Anvis glass, uh, anyway, I'm told the Anvis glass will not work on this unit. Uh, the button here can be a little hard to find. Maybe I just don't have enough time with it yet, but I've, I've spent some time fumbling around trying to get, get the button and poking around everywhere, but maybe I just need, need more trigger time with it. Uh, beyond that, um, one of my pet peeves about Anvis, in spite of how much I love it, is uh, you get a little bit of slop up here at the top stowed position, but by the way, look how close that is to your helmet. That, that is freaking great down there's not much much bounce but stowed there's a little bit of slop unfortunately with the artemis it's about the same they kind of didn't fix that it'd be cool if they could find a way to fix that i don't even know if that's possible or not but uh down in, in operation it's fine but uh stowed you still get a little bit of a little bit of wobbly wobbly not not a huge deal but that's that's probably my, my biggest complaint about uh about the system uh other than that i really like the thing i'm excited to use it some more i've ran it in one running gun i've got another one coming up in a couple weeks i'll be using it there again uh the system seems to be well laid out again my only real pet peeve is that uh get a little bit slop in in stowed position uh tnvc when they sent this thing to me knocked it out of the park they sent it Next day, uh, for like 30 bucks, second day shipping, it was uh, good on them for charging a reasonable rate for quick shipping and, and doing a good job with that. So, hope this helps.